Garrett here with the Acoustic Guitar Forum. Hi everybody. I want to follow up on why are acoustic guitars hard to play? Why are they? Can they be designed to be more comfortable and easier to play? I believe that they can be. I got one good feedback on that thread and that was that was to raise the action. I got some other questionable feedback and some really thoughtless feedback. The worst feedback I got was the direct message from the moderator, which I feel is totally inappropriate, and it was that my thread wasn't nice. Yeah, so the moderator, I guess, apparently looked at the responses that I'd gotten, most of which were totally thoughtless, and concluded that the reason that those thoughtless threads came up, thoughtless responses came up, was that I was trolling in the first place. That's that's the wrong way. I think that's a very poor way to approach thinking about this. Right, so whatever my motives were for posting that thread are unclear, right? You don't know what they are. But to take it on face value as you're being insincere, I think is a very poor approach to any communication, right? So if you're communicating something, if you're asking me a question, if my initial reaction is to say your motives are wrong, you're trying to do this on purpose to create a problem. That shows disingenuity, right? On, on, on the behalf of me, if I'm doing that, if I'm asking you those questions, if I'm, if I'm judging you by asking a question, that's my bad, right? Which is what the moderator's doing, right? So the question stands on its own. Whether or not it's trolling actually really shouldn't even matter. Is the question valid or not? Right. Do you have an answer to the question? Post it. If you don't, you might want to sit this one out and, and, and wait and see. Let somebody else take it. Right. That's probably a better way to approach moderation than the way that the moderator approached it. So I'm going to offer some valid criticism back at that. The moderator might not like that, but uh, I think I'm I think I'm right basically on the thread <laughs> on every response, and I think I'm right in giving this feedback. So yeah, I think the moderator making those comments about me being a troll is totally inappropriate. Right. Closing the thread was also I think inappropriate doesn't give me any chance to respond. Everybody says a bunch of stuff to me. I finally get a chance to respond, and it's closed summarily with this officious statement. Some people are good for electric, and some people are good for acoustic. Case closed, you're done. That's not fair to me, right? <laughs> so it's almost like when you get somebody, well, I can make tons of examples, but anyway, let's get into this. The one good feedback I got was get your guitar set up. All right, good feedback. Uh, the guitar action is not as low as it could be, and lowering it might improve tone. Now, some of the things that I got back in, in, in response were, let's see, I got number one, you need to learn how to play. Go practice hard. Right, okay, but specifically, here are some of the things that I think could be better designed about the guitar. I think that's missing the point. You know, if you're a beginner, sure. You're trying to play that F bar chord, that's going to be hard. And it could be easier to play. And yes, when you get better, it's going to be easier to play. But that doesn't mean that it couldn't be easier to play from the beginning. If the guitar had a little bigger frets, slightly thinner neck profile, perhaps a fan fret system so that when you get that windshield wiper of your, your first finger going up and down the neck, that the fan frets kind of almost match that a little bit. So it makes it a little easier to play. And bigger frets will certainly help. Right. So I think those things will help. The uh, armrest will definitely help with the right shoulder. A lot of people get shoulder problems, bursitis, shoulder surgery even. I've had shoulder surgery on my right shoulder, and I still have problems affected by my playing. And I work on it, and I definitely feel, you know, and I get these indentation marks in my forearm where my forearm is hitting the guitar body, right? But the guitar body doesn't get indentation marks from my forearm. My forearm gets indentation marks from the body. So there's some issues there, right? That the, the body of the guitar isn't flexible, so maybe we could just change the shape of it a little bit. Right, and I think that can be done without compromising tone too much. I've heard some pretty good sounding guitars with those armrest bevels cut away into them. Yeah, so I think there's an improvement that can be made. I think that the neck could be thinner. I think we could probably get some sort of better truss rod, like I've seen electric guitars with a dual action carbon fiber truss rod. Yeah, maybe that can work, yeah. So, but I'm not a builder. You know, I'm just saying, hey, I'm looking at some things here, and I'm thinking maybe we could make this a little better. You know, just I'm a pretty open-minded person. That's the way I think. So 
for some people that means that I'm a troll and, and, I, and I totally don't agree with that line of thinking. I think that's just really reprehensible to say that somebody who's open-mindedly questioning things and to put a label on that person and shut them up and silence them, I think is reprehensible. I think that's really not appropriate. Uh, so I, I really think that the moderator needs to be called out for this. And I think that's wrong to do that. That's bad. That's really bad for any community to have such behavior of censoring people and deleting their comments and shutting them up, silencing them, rebuking them for asking questions. Like, how are you going to make any improvements? How are you going to find anything out if you don't ask questions? So, you know, so maybe I am a troll, huh? Maybe not. Who knows? Does it even matter? What matters is the question, right? Take the question and let's just see what it is. Whatever I'm thinking or feeling inside shouldn't really matter. Whether or not I like you shouldn't matter, right? <laughs> so, moving on from that, let's get into these questions here. Responses, comments. Number one, you need to learn how to play. Okay, so here's the thing I'm trying to play. Got a couple of things. Whew. These chords are kind of hard to play. I think they could be a little easier. So we've got... Right, one more time, we got B minor, G major 7, B minor flat 5, and then B minor major 7. Right, so those are nice sounding chords together. They don't really seem to match, but it works very well in the arrangement. So that's one thing I'm trying to play. I think it could be a little easier. Slightly larger frets and a little thinner neck profile. That's all. Could be a little easier. Uh, definitely could be easier with an arm bevel here. That would be sh for sure. And with a body bevel, we could get the guitar even closer to me and, uh, you know, maybe reduce some of this issue here with my right arm, which is causing issues on my shoulder. Could be a little better. Yeah. And here's the next thing I'm trying to play. We've got um, this lick in the upper frets. I get my bass strap on. Bass players are always very innovative when it comes to comfort and ergonomics. And so I got a nice bass guitar strap on this guitar even though it's not heavy like a bass. Anyway, here we go. There's the lick. And that's coming out of this. One more time. There we go. Maybe a little slower on that. Let me get that palm meeting right. so that I mute on that vibrato but I want to also grab the G string but not the D string <laughs> so that's a little that's one other thing to concentrate on right we got to concentrate on the music because if you don't mute the G string sometimes you get that little warble in there which is very nice for an electric guitar but I don't want that sound here I don't want that warble I don't want those extra strings ringing out with some sustain and extra you know exciting feeling that you get with an electric that's not what I'm going for here which is a key point for the next thing we're going to talk about. All right. And that's actually a fair segue. Well, if acoustics are hard to play, you should stick with an electric. All right. But I want a different sound. I want the sound of an acoustic guitar. And I'm using electric guitars in the song also. I'm going to use 12 string, acoustic guitar, and electric guitar. We're also going to have electric bass. And drums are in there as well. Yeah. And the drums are varied. We've got everything from just a very light hi hat. to all out 16th note triplets, double bass and cymbal crashes and everything. There's a lot of dynamics in this tune. Hence, the diversity of instrumentation. Acoustic guitars and electric guitars. Unfortunately, I don't have a violin and viola, which I would love to have for the outro, but I'm doing natural harmonics and whammy bar. So that's how I make up for it. So, on this lick, Let's see, on this lick, yeah, great. It would be great on an electric guitar, and it is easy to play on an electric guitar. Why should it be hard on an acoustic? Couldn't we get this cutaway a little better? I think we could. Now, the Martin has a good answer for that. Somebody posted up the Martin, I think it's SC13E or some, sounds like a washing machine part name or something weird, you know, SC13E. I don't know what it is. Is that like the new upgraded version of R2D2? <laughs> but it has upper fret access. I played it. It sounds pretty bright and sparkly, but 
it doesn't sound like a nice acoustic solid wood guitar, right? Like this is. I think it's like pressed poplar with a koa out, thin koa veneer or something like that. It doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound like a Taylor. You know, it doesn't sound like a really nice acoustic or, you know, high-end Martin. It doesn't sound that sound. So is it possible to get that high-end sound and get some, maybe some, some bevel cutaway armrest and get the upper fret access? Of course, why not? Why couldn't you get all those things? All right, so we just use solid wood. We could have put a bevel on the guitar. We get upper fret access, slightly larger frets, and a thinner neck profile. Why not? Like, why is that not possible? I haven't heard that answer. And this comes into the psychology of how people think. People think, well, it's always been this way, and therefore it appealed to tradition. We'll go in and fill in the blanks with a reason later. They'll put the reason later. It's harder to convince a man that he's been lied to than it, <laughs> than it is to, to convince him of the lie in the first place. There's a little variation on a Mark Twain uh, phrase. And it's true. People will go in and fill in the, lot, the, the gaps later. They'll make decisions emotionally, and they'll become attached to their beliefs. Right, so you get people believing in nonsense from the time they were a little kid because they've been fed into their head that, that whatever it is, their, their wacky mystical belief that they've held since they were taught since they were two is true and it's real and they've believed it their whole life and now they're 50 and somebody's coming along and saying, hey, you know, how can you be so sure? You know, you've got this religious belief. I, I'm, I'm not 100% convinced. How can you convince me? Because somebody was telling me their religion is correct. How can we know it's true? And then this is the thing. And people get attached to their beliefs and they get attached to their, well, this is the way it is sort of thing, which really segues into the next thing, which is the next two things are a variation of each other. One is you don't need that, right? I don't, so the, people are saying to me, Garrett, you don't need any of those modifications to the acoustic guitar. You just need, you know, you basically kind of goes back to the hinting at number one, you need to learn how to play it, but you just don't need those things. Well, here's the things that I'm trying to play. So you've seen that. And I think it would make it easier. Sure, I can play this. I can work on this. And we've got a difficult transition here. It's possible to play it, but it's pretty damn hard. And it could be way easier with better upper fret access, a little bit larger frets. Yeah, it could be way easier to play. There's no reason why it has to be hard to play. So we can make that easier to play by changing the shape of the guitar, designing the guitar better. This is an innovation. This is like this is like the basics of innovation, right? This is why you can't just shut people down for being open-minded. You never got to get any innovation on anything. You're stuck in conservative land. You can't even make any new idea. And, oh, I got an idea. Maybe this will be good, right? Most of the time, your ideas aren't going to be any good. But this is actually, I think, pretty good insight. It's pretty good criticism to say, hey, why not? If there's a good reason why not, then let's hear it. I haven't heard it yet. So the last thing is, number the last thing is the most, the, the missing the point the most, is people will say, in response to my saying, hey, here's what I, I'd like to make the guitar easier, they say, oh, I don't need that, right? As, if, as, as they're playing something, they don't play anything above the 12th fret, and then it's fine for them. This is not about that. This is not about what you've been playing, you know, Billy Bo Job, Billy, Bo, <laughs> Billy Joe Bob has been playing on the guitar for 43 years, and he's never played anything above the 12th fret. Well, hey, great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's working for you, Billy Joe Bob. Um, that's not what I'm talking about here. And this is not about you. Try to differentiate you self from others. That's really a key point in life. You know, you have to differentiate self from others, right? It's like saying, well, I, you know, I think that some certain type of, you know, sexual behavior is totally disgusting and it's gross. And so therefore it's wrong. No, some people like that, you know, they want to do those things. So do you think it's gross? You think it's gross. That's fine. You can think it's totally disgusting, and that's fine. All right. <laughs> and those phobias, they're not diseases of neuroticism or fear. They really are, most of the time, disgust sensitivity. Right, aversion to disgust. Right, disgust sensitivity. Orderliness. A psychological trait, orderliness. So people who have disgust, high disgust sensitivity will tend to have such feelings, and they'll feel strongly, and, that, and those will influence their moral judgments which can be a problem because when it infringes upon the, the, the behavior of others, that's a problem. Like if person A and person B uh, like a certain thing and person th C says, hey, that's totally disgusting. Person C has a right to their feelings, of course. They can feel as disgusted as they want, but then trying to infringe on the, on the behavior of A and B, uh, where A and B are both happy with that behavior and it doesn't affect C in any other way than 
psychologically, like, ooh, I think it's gross, therefore I have to stop you and control your actions. Well, that's wrong thinking. So that's the differentiation between self and others that can be a real problem when it, when it uh, manifests itself in all different areas of life, which it does, right? And we've seen a lot of that in the past year in 2020, right? We've seen some of this stuff going on with the, the peaceful protesting, right? <laughs> and we've seen people with authoritarian a a attitudes, probably someone here saying, put your mask on right now, oh my God, I'm calling 911, right? You've probably seen people like, maybe you're even one of them. <laughs> and I've been walking around outside and I'm like, yo, bro, you do you. <laughs> you put that mask on and keep you safe. <laughs> and I'm laughing at the whole thing, you know, so fine, okay. If they want to crash the dollar, that's up to them. But I digress for my digression point is there's a good point to the thread and the threads point is the acoustic guitars are hard to play they could be easier to play the answers and responses that I've gotten to that thread are pretty damn bad and the action of the moderator to lock the thread and then try to admonish me for starting it in the first place and ascribing the bad responses to the fact that the misattribution of me being a troll is totally, totally wrong, 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 wrong. It's so wrong in so many different levels. Like the moderator is the worst poster on that thread. I mean, everybody's put a lot of stupid posts and comments on there, but the worst of all is the moderator, which basically officiated and summarized everything and said, well, we're going to lock this and we're done with this now. And he needs to learn, you know, some people acoustic, some people electrics, and we need to divide this into the Democrats and the Republicans and you stay in your lane, buddy. And we're done with this one here. No. <laughs> I'm a musician. I could be a piano player thinking, hey, the acoustic guitar, I just picked this thing up and a dang old F chord, man, I, got, I can't get my, oh, it's hurting me, you know? And, and you know what? That piano player would be right. The piano player would be right, yeah. You know what? That, that F chord down here. It's getting a little easier. They're getting a little bit easier, and then they start to get harder as you get higher. You get all bunched up in your hand, your finger. You see your finger as an angle. So, the, so they could be easier with it, you know, with a fan fret deal, and uh, with, with bigger frets and a thinner neck profile. I think we play the F. We can play it like this, maybe with a thumb over. Not everybody can do that. And it doesn't work that well, but going up in the neck. But yeah, you know, people are going to have challenges that are not necessarily because of their inexperience, but because the guitar just is really hard and sometimes you can work around it, but that doesn't mean that the guitar couldn't be a little easier to play, right? You can play this chord a little easier on an electric guitar with a thinner neck and bigger frets. Can an acoustic guitar have a thinner neck profile and thicker frets? Double action, double, double truss rod, carbon fiber truss rod. I think it's possible. I'm not a builder, but I think that they could find some way technologically to innovate and make the acoustic guitar better. So there's the conclusion of my thread. There's my 19 minutes video. Um, I'm looking forward to anybody who wants to play this. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that based on the quality and energy, the amount of commitment people showed on their, on their posts, probably nobody who made those comments of, you know, you need to learn how to play and this sort of thing is, is even going to try to play those things, you know, or people who are saying, well, just play it an octave down. Let's try that, actually. It can work, but it's sort of, it's not really climaxing the way I want. It does segue nice into the next thing. Can't sing that high. Sorry. And then the electric guitar comes in. 
So we got this aggressive acoustic guitar and then some eerie electric guitar that's just kind of like volume swells and weird sounds. So that's the sound we're going for, right? We're going for this low key aggression on an, on an instrument that's designed to be, you know, maybe a little more country western style, finger picking, whatever. And somebody just really good. And then the electric guitar coming in and saying, yeah, I can play this. I can totally destroy and shred, shred your face off, but I'm just going to do these eerie volume swells just to let you know, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm licking my chops. I'm putting on the mustard on your face before I eat it, you know, this kind of thing. It's just setting the whole thing up. And then, and then, <laughs> and then we get to the main solo, which just, just shreds your face off. And it's just some crazy harmonic. It's rich. And when you hear that main solo of that tune, it's just rich. So we got all sorts of, you know, altered scale and crazy diminished chromatics and whatever with acoustic guitars in there as well. <laughs> so, yeah, so if you want to play those solos, let's, let's, let's see you play some of those, those basic licks from the easier parts. Well, not easier, but they're easier if you had a, a guitar that you can play them on. <laughs> 